Hi, I'd like to talk to you about eggs today. And in specific, I would like to address two matters. The first of the, of the matters is, are eggs good for you or are they bad for you? Well, <clears throat> that sounds like a very simple thing to answer, but it actually is kind of complicated because if you think of eggs in the narrow scope, um, you do get some protein from them and some other things from them like cholesterol, and we do need cholesterol. Um, however, our bodies uh, can help create uh, cholesterol. They can, it, our bodies can synthesize cholesterol, so we don't actually need the eggs. <clears throat> and uh, we can get protein from plants quite readily and more safely than from animal products. So we don't need eggs for that reason uh, either. And in addition, uh, so cholesterol, if you look at the white part of the eggs, the white part of the eggs has very little in it that's a, a, a problem for us. It's more the, the yolk that is a problem for us because of all the cholesterol and, and protein and stuff that's in it. Um, <clears throat> now, as far as, as the cholesterol is concerned, um, chicken eggs actually have got uh, a large amount of cholesterol in them. Um, so it's, it's not, it, it's, it's kind of questionable as to uh, that. Now there are claims that the, that eggs don't adversely affect our health. They don't adversely increase blood cholesterol. They don't adversely increase LDLs. I'm not personally certain about that. Um, <clears throat> all I can tell you is, is that of these, uh, five or six grams of uh, fat in there, maybe one and a half grams of it is uh, saturated fats. So eggs are one of those things, I guess you could say, that on, a, on an individual's health level, there are pros and cons to consuming it, just like coconut cream or coconut meat. Um, so you would need to take a look at whether it's going to be good or bad for your health. Now, if we look at eggs from a larger perspective, in terms of environment, in terms of ethics as well, um, eggs are something that we shouldn't be eating. Now, the reason I say this is because, number one, um, the way that many farms, now I'm not, I'm not saying all chicken ranchers are the same or that all chicken ranchers do what you see in the videos. There are chicken ranchers that allow their um, <clears throat> uh, chickens to be free range in the, tr in the true sense of, the meat, of that phrase. Um, but there are many, many farms where chickens are trapped inside of uh, small cages in buildings. Their lives are entirely uh, orchestrated from birth to death. They have no control. They, they don't get to choose what they get to eat. Um, everything is uh, all scientifically determined. And as a consequence... Um, for example, chickens which are naturally omnivorous uh, to an extent, especially in, um, when it comes to eating uh, insects, are given vegetarian feed. Well, that doesn't really uh, make sense because chickens aren't vegetarians or much less vegans. And so if you see, uh, to me, if I see a, um, a brand saying, oh, it's vegetarian feed, I'm like, I start to question has the nutritional profile been altered? And if it has been altered because of that, which is highly likely, what is the impact on the chicken? And what is the impact on us? Um, so if you can imagine yourself, if you were able to produce something that was um, financially viable in terms of something that your body produces that could be harvested on a, a routine basis, how would you feel if somebody locked you in a small cage and then went ahead and uh, kept you there for your entire life and they were uh, constantly, um, you know, taking away whatever this product was that was coming from your body. How would you feel about that? And, and how would you feel uh, that at the near the end of your life that, you know, you would be uh, potentially treated very poorly, slaughtered for meat or whatever? Um, sometimes the uh, treatment in some ranches of chickens is really pretty very bad um, in terms of like the environment in terms of overcrowding in terms of abuse um, so that's you know ethically speaking we're talking about an industry that has a history now uh, especially due to industrial farming um, which was started maybe uh, 70 years ago I believe it was 
maybe it was 80 years ago, um, that is that take, does not take into consideration the chicken itself. On an ecological level, if we look at all the waste that comes out of a chicken farm, and we look at um, the large amount of antibiotics that some of these farms use in order to keep con control of germs, um, <clears throat> and how those germs eventually become um, immune to the antibiotics, if we look at the impact of things passed on that are given to the chickens that come into us as a consequence, and if we look at the larger impact of the, uh, of the environment um, in terms of, well, what, what are they doing with the manure? Are they processing the manure so that it is um, safe and can be spread on farms as, as a manure? Or is it being sprayed raw onto farms, which means that it is not actually um, because of the quantity, it's not safe because it's going to it's going to soak into the soil and go down into the water table. There's going to be uh, bacteria that are going to be carried uh, that are part of the uh, feces, and so it's a it's in some areas where there's a lot of chicken farming. There's a huge problem with the water table being contaminated by these chicken farms. Our chicken ranches <clears throat> so um, ultimately and I could I could give you a lot more uh, arguments about this but ultimately if we're looking at the impact on the environment the impact on the chickens and the impact on our own health eggs are really not a good thing to be eating and um, so I don't recommend it now um, obviously you should talk to a medical professional who is well versed in nutrition which is the average doctor is not you, um, the average doctor gets very little to no training on nutrition, so unless they go back to university to get a degree in it, or if they study on their own, a lot of doctors really can't give you good advice on food, which is sad because the majority of the diseases that affect us now are caused by what we eat. <clears throat> so, um, getting, getting to the second thing revolving around chicken, I'd like to... Uh, explain to you something that I find um, is a bit of a confusing situation. It's also uh, misleading. Um, so when you buy eggs, if you don't see anything on the carton, uh, you can assume then that the chicken are raised in those tiny little cages and they are kept in those cages uh, from the beginning to the end of their egg laying life and their entire life is controlled. They have no control whatsoever. So they're basically biological machines that were not created to be biological machines in the sense that they're being used now as financial units. Um, <clears throat> and when, so when you buy um, an, you know, eggs, you want to buy eggs if you are an ethical person who cares about the suffering of the chickens that are sacri being sacrificed so that you can indulge in eggs. Um, you want to look at, does it say uh, cage-free? Does it say free-range? Does it say pasture-raised? Now, you would think that those three things actually mean something different. But the truth is, is that cage-free and free-range often have no different meaning in terms of what you would actually find on the chicken ranch. Cage-free is supposed to mean that the animals are not in a cage. However, that doesn't mean that they are out in the wild. They're not out in the pasture. They're not out in the, the farmland. Um, that generally means that they are still trapped, but it's in a large climate-controlled building. <clears throat> and so the farmer has to walk around to find the eggs within that. And that because that is a lot more time consuming than a, an automated system that starts with the chicken laying the egg and then the egg rolls down and then the egg uh, may either, depending on the system they're using, the egg may be at, in a trough and they, they roll down the trough and go out um, or the egg may just sit there and the farmer comes along and grabs the eggs out of the trough. But if they're not in a cage, that can't happen. 
the, the chickens lay the eggs where they lay the eggs, and the farmer has to walk around the building looking for them. Now, you would think that free range means that these chickens get to go wherever they want, just, you know, in, inside a building or outside of a building. And oftentimes that also is, um, well, that is not true. Oftentimes this is, has become synonymous, not always, it depends on the farm, but it has become synonymous with cage-free. The chickens aren't in a cage, as with cage-free, but they are still trapped in a building that they cannot leave, and the farmer has to walk around the building and collect the eggs. Now, <clears throat> Uh, so basically, unless you can determine uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt whether free range is being used as a synonym for cage free or whether it actually means the chickens are free to come and go from the building that they live in, um, it, you have to assume that they're cage free and thus the it's, it's a substandard existence for these chickens because they never see the light of day. They never feel the wind in their feathers or anything like that. They ne um, and they're probably being fed chicken feed, which is to say uh, it's not necessarily a balanced diet. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if you look at some brands, they will say that it's vegetarian feed. And again, that's problematic. Um, the last one is uh, the pa pasture, or sorry, pasture... Uh, raised or something like that um, where they're allowed to wander around outside and then they go back to their coop at night that would be the ideal situation number one because you're you may uh, look at it as first of all I mean and I said and assuming that the ranchers aren't abusing the chickens in some form uh, first of all the chickens are free to be inside or outside of their building, uh, which means they're going to get sunlight. Um, also, the chickens are able to enjoy a form of life that approximates what they would have had in uh, nature. And uh, they get, uh, assuming that there's availability of proper land for them to forage on, they are going to get a balanced diet, which means that the quality of the eggs in this situation is going to be much better in terms of the nutrients also in terms of the uh, shell the the shell strength so these are not going to be uh, eggs that are going to be a problem now sometimes chickens who are allowed to be pasture raised may lay their eggs in the pasture um, and then of course the farmers have to find them but typically the eggs will be laid where the chickens feel safe, which is in the building that they live in when they're not outside. So, um, and if, when I did my re comparison of chicken eggs of different types, uh, I discovered that the best chicken eggs were the pasture-raised ones. They had uh, a richer yolk color, um, and they had a better flavor um, than the cage-free, than the free-range, um, and especially better than the standard egg that is none of those. <clears throat> so, again, I, I don't recommend eating eggs because of the health risks that are involved. Um, however, if you are going to eat eggs, please, for the sake of the chickens and for the sake of your own health, choose the best option because eggs are rich in a variety of different uh, vitamins and minerals. <clears throat> And so um, you can benefit from them. Uh, you don't need them for B12. B12 actually comes from bacteria, which you can get um, in the best form. It would be either a liquid or a crystal form, um, but it's harder to get out of animal products. Uh, our bodies have a harder time extracting it from animal products than from plant products, which is also where you can get B12 sometimes. Um, and that's generally because of dirt in like the roots. Um, so again, I would recommend not eating eggs, especially if you have health issues related to um, food, uh, meat and, and uh, animal product consumption. Um, but if you are going to, for your own health, uh, for to get the best nutrition possible out of the eggs, and also uh, the fact that these eggs are going to be coming from chickens that are not stressed out, um, by living in cages all the time because trust me it's it 
I've seen some photographs and these these chickens they peck at each other mercilessly because they're crammed in so close because they're trying to maximize space so there's a lot of stress and stress has a, an impact on their health which means there's going to be more cortisol there's going to be more adrenaline and that can affect the quality of the eggs so really we want pasturation and the only downside of pasturation is it's going to be the most expensive choice so either choose to protect your health protect the health of chickens and save money and don't eat eggs uh, find alternatives like arrowroot powder um, or you should uh, only eat the pasture raised eggs and that provides the optimal choice for yourself as well as the chickens and farmers also benefit more from that as well uh, that's pretty much all that I had to say about that subject thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day